Did you know that long hair can save lives? That's the story of the researcher who found out that more people would have survived the Titanic disaster if only they had longer hair. There were 912 passengers with short hair and 398 passengers with long hair on the Titanic. Of the 912 with short hair, 672 drowned, corresponding to 72% of the short-haired passengers. This can also be expressed as proportion. The proportion is 0.72. This is also called risk. Of the 398 with long hair, 398 drowned, which is a risk of 0.34. The risk of drowning was 2.18 times higher for the short-haired than for the long-haired. You get this 2.18 by dividing 0.72 by 0.34. Drowning people tend to instinctively clutch at anything and use it to push themselves up. So catching their long hairs is easier than catching their arms. People with long hairs are easier to be pulled out by their hairs than those with short hairs. Especially when the hair is wet. That's why people with short hairs are at higher risk of drowning compared to the long haired. Really? Should we believe this researcher or is this just some fake news? There are a lot of fake news story these days, so we really should scrutinize this a little bit more. The association between the length of the hairs and the drowning is not causal. Letting grow your hair or cut your hair would not change the risk of drowning. If the association were causal, then cutting people's hair would have caused more drownings. And putting on hair extensions would probably have saved lives. Women had longer hair, at least at that time. And furthermore, women had lower risk of drowning because at that time everyone was sticking to good behavior and said, women and children get in the safety boats first. If we analyze the risk of drowning separately for men and women, we find out that both long and short haired men had the same risk of drowning, namely about 80%. The women had a risk of 27%, irrespective of their hair length. So the risk for short haired people was not higher compared to the long haired passengers, if the analysis was stratified by gender. The analysis could have also be done with a so-called multivariable logistic regression model, where both variables hair length and gender were put in one statistical model. It's called multivariable because two variables were in the model to explain the outcome. Here the outcome would be drown or not drown. In the image, you see in the upper analysis that the odds ratio for long hairs was 5.39. In the lower part, you can see that two variables were in the model and that the odds ratio for long hairs is almost one. This means that the long and the short haired passengers had the same odds to drown. The association appears because a third variable, gender, confounded the association. The confounder gender is a common cause of the hair length and the drowning the green dashed line indicates that the association is not causal. When we adjust or control for gender, the green line disappears, there is no association anymore. Everything we can draw a similar diagram, there might be confounding. So this is the end. Normally, you would now hear spherical sounds. If not the lawyers of Celine Dion would have forbidden it, Roger would now sing, my heart will go on, for you. So please close your eyes and imagine him singing the most beautiful, well, others would say the most annoying, song of all times in film history.